Hi everyone, today I want to share with you how to add widgets to your Mac home screen on macOS Sonoma. macOS Sonoma was released on the 26th, so it was last night for me. I'm pretty sure it was the morning for most people. So definitely go ahead and update your computer if you haven't already. We have a bunch of new features, but one of my favorites is finally being able to add widgets. This is something that I've been asking for for so long since widgets came to the iPhone. So I'm glad we finally have this option on our home screen for the Mac. So let's get started and I'll show you how to add these widgets to your home screen. Adding widgets on macOS Sonoma is actually really easy. So all you need to do is go to control center here and it already gives you a what's new block. Place widgets directly on the desktop and add your iPhone widgets. So that's also something that's new. You not only have access to Mac widgets, but also the widgets that are on your iPhone. Your iPhone just needs to be nearby or connected to the same network and then it will detect whatever you have on your iPhone. So let's go ahead and click here on edit widgets. So you can still place widgets here. So the ones that you place here will be in your little control center here. So they won't appear on your screen, but you can obviously add some on your screen here as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. So it already shows me a preview of some widgets that I can just add that I kind of suggest. So you have your battery widget, um, reminders. I think that's find my contacts. And here it shows some from your iPhone. So you will see here it says from iPhone. And you can just scroll through all the suggested widgets. But here at the side, you have all your apps. Now again, these are mostly apps that I have on my phone that I can now add to my home screen. So I have, for instance, this widget here, which is from an app called Structured. So here you can see it here. I have all the options that I can now add to my home screen as well. Most of these widgets, like I said, are my phone widgets. You can also just install some of these apps on your Mac. So for instance, this one here is from Color Widgets, which is a designated widget app. So I have already installed Color Widgets on my Mac, so it can easily just have it on here with Mac, but um, you can also have it on your phone and it will detect it as well. So basically, it's just your choice whether you want to use it on your Mac or on your iPhone. And again, it's really easy to add these widgets. So let's go, I'm just going to choose Pinterest. Uh, they have quite a few they can choose from some larger ones. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here and I'm going to drag it. You can either just click on it, it's going to add it here or you can drag it directly onto your screen here. Choose where you want to place it. And then it's already synced because it's synced on my phone. Um, and then, yeah, I can just place it wherever I want. As you can see, it kind of gives you a guideline to where you can snap it in place. And you can also go back to that control center section where you can edit the widgets and tap on it to change it to whatever you want it to be. So you might be wondering how this works. So for instance, this one here, this is an interactive widget. So I can tick things off from here and it will correlate to the app on my phone. But like I said, I don't have the app on the Mac. So if I tap on the widget to go in, it's just going to tell me to open it on my iPhone to continue because I don't have the app on my Mac. But like I said, it's interactive. So it can still like if I'm done with something, I can just just take it off here and it will correlate back to my iPhone and show that I've made progress. So it does work intelligently together, but you can't necessarily open the widget because it's on my iPhone, not here. One thing I'm hoping for is that it gets more intelligent with certain apps. So for instance, I have Notion on my Mac, but when I go to tap on it, it just opens it in a web browser for some reason. And I would love for this to just correlate back to the desktop app so that I don't have to do that every single time. But yeah, you can play around with this. Mostly I think I'd use this for like to-do list apps that you can interact with and then just some cute decorations and maybe just some info like battery life. There's things that you don't have to open up an app for because for now it's still kind of not buggy, but it's not as functional. But yeah, there are a few cool things on here. I also just want to show you like, for instance, reminders. It works really nice on here since it is an Apple app and it just works very nice. So I'm just going to quickly change it. So reminders is obviously an Apple app, so it's a lot more optimized for this. So as you can see, I have it here. Obviously I have reminders on my phone as well. So I can easily just open up the reminders app on my Mac and it will obviously sync across my devices because of iCloud. So if I take something off here, it will obviously take it off on my phone's list as well. So reminders is really fun, I think, for this as well, since it is Apple optimized and it just works really well for this. So that is how you can add widgets on your Mac OS and and on your home screen of your Mac. This is so fun. Overall, I love macOS Sonoma. I love the addition of live or aerial wallpaper. So for instance, if I lock my device right now or go to my screensaver, it's an animated screensaver. And also the lock screen now looks more similar to what we're used to with 
iPhone, you have your time and your dates, and then you can just go ahead and unlock it. So it's just so nice and intuitive. And again, when you go from your screensaver, which is animated to your home screen, which has the same wallpaper, maybe it's just very nice and seamless. So I really love this update. I think it has some very cool changes and things. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you. I really hope this video could help you out and you got some tips. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And comment down below if you have any other questions for me about this. Again, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.